man this episode was crazy another great episode of attack on titan a lot happened and it was crazy i just want to say that uh, the character development for for historia in this series has been really really big i think it, it's the biggest character development that we got in this series and she became one of my favorite characters just in this arc with mikasa these two are probably my two favorite character right now it's crazy how much Historia changed in this arc and now she knows who she really is. We saw her uh, start to change in last season of Attack on Titan. She started to uh, become who she really wanted to become and now I think her character arc is the best of the series so far. In the other hand, I hate the character that Eren is right now. I know that he's been through a lot because of what he learned from his father but if you remember in the first season he wanted to kill all the titans he was he really wanted to crush the titans but in this week in this week's episode and in, and in this season his character has just been odd you know he wants to be dead he wants historia to eat him now in this episode he wanted rod reese to eat him so it's crazy how much uh uh, uh the errands character has decreased since season one now we need to talk about this big ass titan that Rod Reese has become. I don't know if he was the one to choose how big he would become, but they said that he's two times bigger than the Colossal Titan. So the Colossal Titan, if you remember, is the titan that broke Warmaria in the first season, I think. Uh, and it's really big. It's the titan that Bertold has. It's really big. So this titan right here is two times bigger than the Colossal Titan. And it's crazy because the Colossal Titan could see above the wall and this Titan, because it's two times bigger, it could just walk over the wall I think. Even though it can't really walk, it could walk over the wall so that's really crazy. But anyway, uh, at the beginning of the episode the reason why they were able to survive uh, uh, the big ass Titan is because Eren drank something and because of that he was able to acquired the hardening ability that Annie had in the first season so they will be able to plug uh, Walmaya where uh, the Colossal Titan first uh, attacked and will be able to see what's in the basement of Eren's house that his dad was hiding so I'm really hype about that I know already what's in it because I've read the manga now but uh, I think you guys will love uh, the things that will come out of this Another thing that we learned that I think we didn't learn in last week's episode is that uh, the members of the Reese family that acquired the uh, founding titan are being controlled by the first king's will and that's why they refuse to liberate the uh, humanity from the titan. So I don't think they've said that in last week's episode but that's really really interesting. So Historia actually explained why Eren's father did all of that and that's because uh, like uh, I said uh, the Reese family couldn't save humanity because they were controlled by the first king's will so by taking the power from the Reese family and giving it to Eren now they can actually control uh, the founding titan even though uh, Eren isn't royal blood he will be able to save humanity so that was pretty clever so now we know that Grisha Jaeger wasn't a bad guy he just wanted uh, the best for the, uh, the human race and by giving it to Eren he knows that he will be able to save it. We don't know how yet but uh, we'll see man. Obviously we know that Commander Erwin's plan was to make Historia become the queen and we know that she will become the queen after they killed uh, Rod Rees. But uh, it's crazy, like I said, I really like the character development for, for Historia. She, her character totally changed since season 1. She isn't the same person and that's why now she's one of my favorite characters. And I'm hyped to see uh, what's gonna, going to happen in her future for the series. Uh, I know what's happening in the manga, but I want to know more about her. Um, one of the things that I found really funny in this scene is that Mikasa said to Historia that when she will become queen, she will be able to punch that runt in the face and I guess she was talking about Levi, so <laughs> that's kind of funny because uh, Mikasa and Levi are actually from the same clan and uh, Mikasa actually don't like uh, Levi because of all uh, the decisions that he makes. Uh, uh, for Eren and everything so <laughs> that's what's that was that was kind of funny to me sorry 
but yeah man next week's episode will be crazy i'm telling y'all uh i'm hyped for what's coming next in the series i think they did this arc way better than they did in uh the manga the manga was kind of boring but they, the way they did it in the anime was really really cool but yeah it was a really intense episode i gave it a, a 7.5 or 8 out of 10 it was a really good episode in my opinion i'm hyped for what's coming next let me know what you thought about this week's episode in the comments down below um i do attack on titan reviews every single week so subscribe for that and like comment, subscribe for more uh, anime related things it would help me a lot thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video anime specialist out peace